Hello and welcome to the series of video lectures on the subject microprocessor for second year IT students. I am Dr. Srishal Sharad Kajbhar and in this video lecture we are going to study about 8086 CPU architecture. So at the end of this session students will be able to describe functions of execution unit that is EU and bus interface unit which are the two main functional units of 8086 architecture. Students will also be able to outline register organization of 8086. Microprocessor is at the heart of every computing system whether it may be a server or it may be a personal computer. The microprocessor of your computer on which you are watching this video is responsible for all the tasks which are performed at this time instant. 8086 is one of the most basic microprocessor which is the topic of our discussion. So let us see some of its important features first then we will go for the explanation of its architecture. So 8086 is a 16 bit microprocessor by 16 bit we mean that it is designed in a such a way that it is able to handle 16 bit data at a time during its operation. So it has got 16 bit wide data bus it has got 20 bit address bus that is it is able to access 2 raised to 20 that is 1 megabyte of physical address memory. By physical address memory we mean that random access memory or read only memory. It can generate 16 bit IO addresses so it can access 2 raised to 16 IO ports. It has got pipeline architecture for faster execution of instructions. By pipeline architecture we mean that the instruction fetching and instruction execution both are done simultaneously that is at the same time. So it is available in 40 pin dual inline IC package. It has got multiplexed address and data bus so it reduces the number of pins but at the same time it also reduces the speed of data transfer so which is so let us see 8086 CPU architecture in detail. The figure shows 8086 CPU architecture. As you can see this architecture is mainly divided into two parts. So CPU architecture has mainly two functional units namely bus interface unit that is BIU and execution unit that is EU. And this is the parting line for both these units both these units work simultaneously that is at the same time. For every task a CPU does it needs program and data which is stored in random access memory or read only memory. Now this program and data which is known by instruction and data is nothing but a sequence of zeros and ones okay and this makes sense only to the microprocessor. And all the tasks are performed by the CPU using three important operation cycles namely fetch cycle, decode cycle and execute cycle. Now let us see which part of the CPU architecture is responsible for the mentioned three operations. Okay. Now as I have told earlier, so this bus interface unit is responsible for fetching of the instructions. Okay. So it has got uh, 20 bit address line. So for fetching this program and data it needs to generate a 20 bit physical address. Okay. So this physical address generation mechanism is also there inside the bus interface unit. So this part is responsible for this 20 bit physical address generation. This BIU has also got 6 byte instruction queue to store the prefetched instructions. Okay, So the size of the instruction queue is 6 bytes and this instruction queue is connected to the instruction decoder and control unit circuitry of the execution unit. Okay, So this control circuitry of EU is responsible for all the internal operations of the CPU. The job of instruction decoder is to decode the instructions. Bus interface unit contains 5 
number of 16 bit registers namely extra segment register core segment register stack segment register data segment register and instruction pointer okay this execution unit contains the remaining registers so the purpose of register is to store the data temporarily so the execution unit contains four number of general purpose registers namely ax bx cx and dx there are also stack pointer register base pointer register source index register and destination index register okay. so this is nothing but the internal data bus this is also internal data bus so bus interface unit is responsible for the fetch cycle of the cpu whereas execution unit is responsible for decoding and execution of the instruction the execution unit has got arithmetic and logical unit which does the arithmetic or logical operations it eu also has got the flag register to indicate the status of the current operation okay now let us see the operation of each unit in detail so as i mentioned earlier 8086 has got two separate function units namely bus interface unit and execution unit BIU has got segment registers, instruction pointer, address generation and instruction queue. Whereas EU has got general purpose registers, arithmetic logical unit, control unit, pointers and index registers and flag registers. BIU, let us learn about the BIU in detail. BIU is the 886 interface to the outside world. All external bus operations are done by bus interface unit. It does the job of instruction fetching reading writing of data operands for memory it also does inputting outputting of data for io devices it does the job of filling the instruction queue which is six byte in nature it also does the 20 bit address generation to face the instructions or data whereas the main job performed by execution unit are it tells the biu from where to face the instructions or data it also decodes and executes the instructions. EU accepts instruction from the output end of the instruction queue. It also accepts data from general purpose registers or memory. It generates operand addresses whenever necessary and hands them over to bus interface unit. It requests BIU to perform read or write cycle to memory or IO devices. It updates status of flags when executing instructions. It waits for instructions from the instruction queue when it is empty. Now pause the video for 2 minutes and write down the answer of the following questions. I hope you have written the answers. So first question is what is the size of instruction queue in 886? So the size of instruction queue in 886 is 6 bytes. Second question is what will happen to the queue contents in case of jump or call instructions. Now whatever data is there inside a instruction queue is sequential in nature. So whenever the program contains jump or call instruction the CPU, the CPU transfers the control to some other memory location and the contents of that memory location may not be inside the instruction queue. So in case of jump or call instructions, CPU discards all the contents of the instruction queue. Finally, let us see the register organization of 886. This part is very introductory and details about these register organization will be done in the next video. So as I have mentioned earlier, there are 14 number of 16 bit registers and these registers are divided into four groups namely data group, index and pointer group, status and control group and segment group. So data group contains four general purpose registers namely AX, BX, CX and DX. These X indicate the 16 bit and these general purpose registers are also addressable using the 8 bits also. So AL can be addressed as a lower uh, lower byte, age can be addressed as a higher byte. So similarly, 
index and pointer group contains the offsets generally they contain the offset so, so there are uh, five number of index and pointer registers which are base pointer stack pointer source index destination index and instruction pointer now there are four number of segment registers namely code segment register stack segment register data segment register and extra segment register there is also one flag register these are the references thank you very much